This is Crown City, born and built on gold mining. But by 1880, about the only gold left was across the nearby river in the San Juan Mountains, Ute Indian land. People get desperate when their means of livelihood's cut off, and I was no exception. I'm Gary Brannon. My dad and me run a freight outfit. Brother, it's all set. The Brandon kid came through. these weeks of setting it up. Frank. Yeah? Be careful, hmm? Don't you worry, Sue. Everything is gonna be fine. $500 made out to Brannon and son, like you asked. Thank you, sir. Gary, Dad! Jenny, go back to bed. You're going, both of you. There'll be no trouble, Jenny. We're going in peace. He's right, Jenny. Everything will be just fine. We'll be back in a couple of days. Now, don't you worry about a thing. Take good care of Dad. You come along. Everybody wants you to. Talk to Chief Ure. You're his friend. We tried that last year. The Indians are not ready to deal yet. What do you think they're ready now? See you in a couple of days. You're wrong, Gary. Those San Juan Mountains are Ute Indian lands, and all the gold there belongs to the Indians, regardless of what that bunch is trying to stir up. The walkers and the costers, mine owners. Why, if they're miners, I'm a cooch dancer. They're using you, Gary. They're using you too, Nathan. They're using everybody. You know we're not doing this prospecting just for ourselves, Sam. We're trying to keep the whole town from going broke. Outside of the lucky pick, there's not a mine on our side of the river that isn't flayed out. Mr. Marlowe's right. We've got to do something. The last freight outfit in town, there's nothing to hold. Sorry, Dad, but we're going. Mr. Fallon. There's a treaty against crossing that river. Not have you. Maybe the sheriff will have something to say about it. I learned a lesson for you, Jed. Even those so-called honest, decent folks get just as grabby as you and me if they get desperate enough. No, Frank. No one gets as grabby as you. <laughs>
tied me up and left me alone burn. I've been there for hours. Did you see who did it, Sam? I didn't have to see. I know who did it. One of Walker's men. Now, wait a minute, Sam. Now, look. You don't have to see a skunk to know he's around. And you let me tell you something, Jim. That walker's up to no good, and it's going to mean trouble for all of us. You can't go around accusing people without no proof. Gee, Hossif, that walker and his bunch has got my boy taken in, Marlowe and everybody else in town. I should have realized they have you taken in, too. Nobody's got me taken in. Well, let's go on and catch them before they cross the river. Can't do it, Sam. Time we got there, they'd be across. This badge of mine carries no weight in the San Juans. I'm sorry, Sam, but that's federal jurisdiction, and you know it. All right. Sam. I'll go myself. I got no tin bags to stop me. Point, just in case. Walker, how about you and Billy? I'll go. I'd rather you stay here with me, Mr. Marlowe. I'm as responsible for this trip as anyone here. I'll go with Walker.
What is that poor, ignorant savage doing? Protecting his land against intruders. All right, that's enough, Dad. What happened to your face? Never mind that now. Where's the rest of your party? There goes the wagon's pinned down. All except Mr. Marlowe. And you're going out all by yourself and wipe out the whole Ute nation. If I look at you, you look like a perambulating hot. <laughs> That's what that happened. Those youths were all fired friendly as you said they were. Yeah, well, they saw you come in with a wagon loaded with supplies and mining equipment. Yeah. They knew you didn't come in here to open a general store. We didn't come in shooting. Come on, let's get out. We better head for the wagons. Oh, what about Mr. Marlowe? You scot him, they'll kill him. Well, if Killen's airplane, he's probably dead already. He's a gasse. I don't believe I have time for an oration, but if you'll stop talking in a couple of minutes, I'll try to get them to hold their fire. Say, Sam. Well, I guess we're here for the night. They're sending the messenger back to Chief O'Ray for instructions. I told him I'd trade him for Marlowe if he's still alive and talk peace on their terms. I say I don't talk at all. I say send a rider to Fort Haynes now that we got a chance and bring in the army. You say too much, Mr. Walker, which seems to be the trouble with everybody around here. settles this thing. Our friends in Denver will be a little unhappy. No engine war, no U.S. Army to hurt the Utes onto a reservation. And no juicy government contracts for our Denver friends to keep the reservation supplied. They'll have to think they made a mistake off us a cut of the take. <laughs> and besides that, Frank, we won't be doing much gold mining in the San Juans either. That's right, Lush. But Brannon hasn't settled it yet, now has he? No. I don't know if they're hatching anything. For a young man with two bright eyes, you're mighty unseen. Look, if there's such crooks, what's Mr. Marlowe doing siding with them? No one's ever accused him of being crooked. No, just a fool. I know. 
Marlow was one of the founders of Crown City. He still thinks he's got to keep it going forever. Well, that may not be possible. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Come on over here. You know, Gary, you and I seem to be battling all the time lately. We used to be pretty close. It's been a long, long time now since Ma died. Not just died. He was killed. Still churning inside, huh? With that unreasonable hatred. Are you being reasonable? Being so friendly with Chief Ore? Siding in with him every chance you get? It was one of his braves all liquored at the... Go down from the hills and just for fun put an arrow through her. I felt that arrow just like it went through me. But Ure did all he could. You know that as well as anyone. He had that brave kill for what he did. And even justice couldn't ask for more. And that justice calls the up to the youths. Not me. Look, Gary. I thought so then and I still think so now. It's just not right to blame all red men for what one did. Any more than it would be to blame all whites if a white man did. Let's drop it, Dan. Now tell me something. What did happen to your face? I just won't forget that for now. I wonder if it took you so long to catch up with us last night, Billy. You heard him. He said he was going to the sheriff. Hold it, men. Let nature take its course. Watch that rifle, Walker. Just remember, we didn't come out here to start anything. Chief Bore is pretty sick. That was his son, Taros. What about Mr. Marlowe? Well, Taros says he's all right and he'll make the trade. Then you gotta get out of the San Juan Mountains and stay out. That's his deal. Well, tell him all right. Hurry up, Sam. Get him over with. Let's go. Get across the river. You all right? 
right, Nathan? Thank you, Sam. I'm all right. My father wishes me to say again that we want only peace. But do not break your word. Tell your people not to come into our mountains, or they will not leave again so easily. Tell your father he has my word. to start it, Walter. What are you talking about? Those bushes were crawling with Utes. It's funny. I can see as well as anyone here, and I didn't see them. Well, Stillwell saw them. Well, I, uh, I saw something, Gary. Sure he did. As soon as they got their brave back, they'd have cut us down. This is no time to argue. We better get back to town before the Utes show up with a war party. Come on, boys. Fetch me one of those Indian ponies, Charlie, and put Talos on it. What do you plan on doing? I'm going to take Talos to Chief Ure. And I'm going to talk and talk until these old lungs of mine give out. I'm going to try to convince Ure that this job has been done by a no-good band of conniving... You know, son, unless something's done... The youths will come out of the mountains and they'll burn Crown City to the ground, and who can blame them? You going back to town, Dad? I'll ride on ahead and see Ure. No, son, this is no job you can do. Well, I can try. Can you now? Can you humble yourself to a red man? Can you plead with him and admit that, that there's white skinned folks like us who are no better than savages? Can you forget for every second you're up there that a youth killed Mar and. They're all to blame? No, son, I don't think there's much you can do, so long as the only thing you have in your heart from is hate. You... Uh, you can handle my wagon, Mr. Marlowe. Yes. You're crazy, Gary. Well, you don't even know how to find Ori. I don't. But this Indian pony does.
came to see your chief. Chief Ure, I want to talk to him. Roger. Come on. My father wishes to speak to you. I'm Samuel Brannan's son. I came in his place to ask you to keep your braves from war. It's too late for that. Yes, sir. You came on our land. You asked for a truce. And then you killed our braves under the white flag. It's true there were some men in our party who wanted us to fight. I didn't know it when we left, and I still don't know why. But they're the ones who should be punished. Who will punish them? Will your white law punish them? I do not think so. I have given my life to the cause of peace between our people. I learned your language, taught it to my son, to others in my tribe who would learn it. I visited your city. Washington shook hands with your president. I and my people have always wanted friendship. Always? What about my mother? I haven't forgotten how she died. I cannot forget it either. It was a sorrow as great to me as to you. Now that I am to die, I can tell you something I was ashamed to tell even my good friend, your father. Your mother was killed by my own first son. It was he I had my warriors dragged to death in punishment. I fought the enemies of peace no matter who while I lived. I will fight them after my death. My father is dead. I am chief. His last wish was that you attend his funeral, and then we turned your people unharmed. The burial place is secret. Only the bravest of our warriors will be there. I did not know the white woman was your mother.
Chaco, Naika Chilakam, Saika, Nanation Saika Tai Baha, Saika Kamtax, Naik Saika Tai Yaka Memlus, and Saika Tam Tam Yaka Satwa, Kopasakali Ilehi. Sasadon, Snoyadri, Rokstonha. Warriors will live here to guide my father's grave. If any man molested, he will be dragged to his death by the ponies. This is a sacred place. You are not to come back. I will get your guns now. Take this. It was not done to save your life, to save my father's word. Tell your people there will be no war. But keep them out of our mountains. For I have not forgotten the killing of my braves under a flag of truce. I haven't forgotten that either. You're getting kind of bossy. Am I? That's because I'm not going to let you start an Indian war, no matter how hard you try. That's a pretty serious accusation, kid. One I'm going to prove. 
If you want to stop me, now's the time. Gary! Now, wait a minute, you two. This is between Walker and me, Sheriff. Well? <laughs> I'm a little gun shy today. Me and my men are pulling out of this. But for your sake, kid, I hope you're right about those Utes. I wouldn't want the massacre of this town on my conscience. There be no massacre here. And that's a promise. Now you ain't going home. I don't get it, Frank. Shut up, Jed. You had a chance to gun him down. Why didn't you? I have a better idea. There's your answer. You did it, Gary. You stopped him. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dan. The only thing is, you're not going to be too popular in town now. We'll be unpopular together, huh? <laughs> you go ahead. I'll take the horses. Hey, Frank. Huh? We got a right to know what's going on. The Brannons fixed us up just fine. <laughs> The only ones they fixed up fine are themselves. All right, now, here's our story. Unless you just heard that the Brannons made some kind of a private deal with the Utes. You and Billy see to it that everyone else in town hears about it, too. Go on, get busy. Jed, right into Red Bank, turn up Morgan. Morgan? Yeah. Bring him right back. All right. Ralph, see if you can find Sue. Tell her I want to see her in her room. Jim Decker. I know. Always behind a bottle in the saloon. You know, the lucky picks had to hold up at shipments to Twin Falls. So? Well, I'll probably wait a few days to see if the Brown kids write about the Indians. Then they'll send the gold through. I see. And uh, you want me to find out from Decker when the shipment will come? That's right. And how they're going to ship us. I'm counting on you, Sue. It's important. I'm counting on you, too, Frank. When this is all over and you leave Crown City, I'm expecting you to take me with you. How could I ever leave you? Well, that's my little job. To see to it you don't ever want to. Right now, I've got another little job. With Decker. What more can I do? Well, you can try Santa Fe in San Francisco. Sure, New York, New Orleans, and Timbuktu. Nobody's got anything against Frank Walker. Just because you don't like him, don't say he's crooked. Now, why don't you forget about it? You forget about it, not me. All right, Dave. Sure? Here you're looking for someone to write shotgun on the stage. The stage line opening? You've been back four days now, no Indian trouble. Folks are beginning to feel you might be right about the Utes, so we figured we'd send a run through to Twin Falls. You just had the pleasure of meeting a good friend of mine. Morgan's his name. And if you think he's quick with his fists, will you see him with his guns? I'll see him. I'll see him again. I wouldn't be too anxious. He's killed three in Abilene, two in Dodge, none in Crown City yet, so don't you be the first. Now, kid, I got something for you to do. I do nothing for you, Walker. I don't think you can beat me into it. <laughs> <laughs> 
If there's any more beating to be done, it won't be you who gets it. Les and Jed are gonna take your old man on a little trip. All right. Whether he comes back or not, that all depends on you. We stay together, Sonny. Just you and me. At dawn tomorrow, we leave in your wagon with our lifting ring. And I just know you're not going to give me any trouble. Will you? That's enough. Move a little faster, son. I irritate real easy. suddenly. We'd better go. See you soon, Jenny. Your girl? <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's nice country around here. What's the matter, Sonny? Don't seem like you're enjoying the ride much. <laughs> Not the ride, it's the company. <laughs> I don't trick easy, Sonny. So don't do it again, or I swear I'll open you up. Someday we'll meet even, mister. You won't have it all your way. Sure we will, Sonny. Now pick up the reins and drive. Come on! Get over there! gonna stay here. Why don't you just settle back and enjoy the sun? <coughs> the wagon stays where it is, Sonny. Don't crowd me. Huh? 
I'd have killed him a half a dozen times if you didn't have any more use for him. Hey, Frank! Yeah? The stuff's here, all right. Good. Get the lifting rig. Load that thing into the wagon. <laughs> all right, get up on the bench. We got some more hauling to do. I'm not hauling that safe anywhere. You're taking it where Morgan tells you. Look, Walker, you can kill me right here if you want to. But I'm not moving from this spot. Kid, I can't say it wouldn't give me pleasure to kill you. But you see, I still need you to cover up. Just in case you meet anyone on the road. I'm not going. Jed! until you turn off the road at Sand Creek. Now you can go on to the old Russell farm alone. Walker wanted himself an Indian war. When they hear about this in Crown City, you'll have one. Yeah, that's all I do. You know, it gives a man faith once again in dishonesty. Drive, Sonny. Ah. Hold it. Oh. You know? Just like Ed Drop. He's sheriff over Twin Falls. Watch it, Sonny. Hiya, Gary. Ed? Stage is two hours late into Twin Falls. Did you see it on the road? No, we didn't. Uh, we came through the South Pass from my place. Uh, Morgan's the name, Chef. I just settled in these parts. Picked a pretty poor time to come settling, Mr. Morgan. No one's sure what the youths are up to. Well, they don't scare me. That's a pretty heavy lifting rig you got there, Gary. Yeah, we'll pick up some big equipment in Twin Falls. Well, you better hurry. Feels like a storm brewing. Yeah. Yeah, it sure does. Well, it's been nice meeting you, Chef. Hope the stage is all right. Yeah. Oh, how's your father, Gary? Fine, Ed. Just fine. Guess I better get going. I'll see ya. <laughs> you know, it makes it real easy for me. People trust in you the way they do. <laughs> Drive. Turn off the road. Stop at Sand Creek. said Sand Creek. We haven't gotten there yet. Something's wrong with that mule. All right. <laughs> Fix it. Maybe even sunny. All right. I'll enjoy it. Go get it. You call that even? The minute I go for that that's gun. That's right. I'll open you up. But that's as even as it's going to get. I don't believe in taking foolish chances. Now listen, Morgan, you get. <laughs>
How is he? Still unconscious. And Gary swore the youth wanted peace. I wired Fort Haynes. They said Washington's orders are to push the Utes onto a reservation. The cavalry will be here in two days. Good. It'll be their job. We stay out of it. All right, Jim. You haven't seen the Brannans around today, have you, Nathan? No. Jenny told me she saw Gary leave town early this morning with a stranger. Yes, I know that, Jim. What are you getting at? I haven't told anybody about this, Nathan. I've been waiting for Dave to come, too, if he does. Van and me saw more than Ute tracks out where the coach burned. We saw tracks of a heavy freight wagon and a mule team. I saw that you dare going to Hank. I saw you and your friend fire at us from behind. I didn't even have a gun. No? Well, I just wonder who folks are going to believe. You or me. Gary! Jenny. This is no place for you. Jenny. How can you even think Gary had anything to do with this? When there's gold involved, a man will do a lot of things. Sheriff? If you want to hang that man legally, better get to the trial before you lose your best witness. It wasn't a fair trial, Dad. It wasn't. Everybody's temper was hot. It was fair, Jenny. There was just too much against him. No, Dad. I don't believe he's guilty. You love him. You wouldn't believe it if you saw him do it. Now, please, Jenny. It's all over. You've just got to forget him. Just a few minutes, Jenny. That's all. I came as soon as he let me. Gary, you didn't tell them everything at the trial. You can't keep it a secret. You've got to tell them. I wish I could. Why can't you? If I open my mouth, my father's a dead man for sure. Your father? Yeah, I can't say anymore. But, Gary, how can you let them 
hang you without a word. They haven't hung me yet. But I need your help, Jenny. Anything, Gary. You know that. Do whatever I say, no questions asked? If you want it that way. All right. Find Sue Randolph for me. Sue Randolph? She works at the saloon. Have her tell her friends that they want me to keep my mouth shut about that gold. They'd better get me out of here. Gold? You've got the lucky pig gold? We said no questions. Now just trust me and do it. All right, Gary. I'll tell her. anything about us? No, I'm the only one she knows about. He just told her that if my friends wanted him to keep his mouth shut, they'd have to get him out. He'll keep his mouth shut, as long as we got him. Frank, keeping quiet during the trial is one thing. But when they go to slip that noose around his neck, it'll be something else. Maybe. No maybes, Frank. He'll talk. Well, then. Still gotta find us. Somebody's gonna come here looking for us. What about the gold? What about it? Lots of it there. Jed, the army's coming in. We'll have what we want. Our friends in Denver will be happy and generous. Still don't see the point leaving all that gold go to waste. I don't either. Or me. Well, you can't have everything. That's funny, Frank. You always said you could. I'm usually with you, Frank, but this is money we know we've got. Yet it comes who knows when. Here, you need some strength. If you've got something to say, Gary, you better get to it. You haven't got much time. The cab would be here pretty soon. There'll be a lot of bloodshed. Now, if you know anything that... He'll kill us anyway. Dad will take good care of him while we're gone. 
Turn him loose, Walker, and I'll take you. You take us first. How'd I know you let him go? Kid, you better start moving or you'll be digging his grave. All right. But it's a good thing you've got those shuffles. You'll need them. It's buried. Where? In the San Juans. San Juans? Can you think of a safer place? Let's go get it. first, just in case we meet any of your Indian friends. What is pot? I don't see any wagon tracks. Well, I, I went around the other way. It's easier for a wagon, but it's a lot further. rocks at the base of that cliff. If you cut me loose, I'll show you right where to dig. You just stay here with me, kid. The boys will find it. Go ahead, boys. Not to come back. Sorry, Thomas. Didn't have any other choice. Those are the men who killed your braves. They're still holding my father prisoner. What about the man who rode away? I need to catch up with him. Bad. We will help. 
Scouts were taken on our land. The troops are two hours from the river. Give me a rifle. Maybe the army won't cross the river. If I can take Walker alive, I'll make him talk. He is far ahead now. You cannot catch him. I can try. I think I know where he's headed. What about the scouts? They will not be harmed if we are not attacked. But if we are, the whole youth nation will be ready.
and everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I tell about the men in Denver. That is a flag on us. <laughs> <laughs> Take her in the Crown City. Tell the sheriff what's happened. I beat you at the river crossing. I'm gonna try to catch her that trooper cow. Looks like Crown City's in for better days, Mr. Marlowe. Tao said he'd be willing to talk about giving mining rights in exchange for hunting privileges on our side. Well, won't be needing me anymore. <laughs> 